Do I got anything in here? My daughter said I did earlier. Hey, anyway, um, welcome to the shop. Uh, we're not working on the bus out there normally. Um, but working on something for the bus. And it's about our bus bars. And I'm not really happy with them. Um, if that interests you, stick around. Because that's what we're playing around with today. So let me show you what we currently have. And uh, then we'll talk about how we might be able to improve the situation. Uh, here's what we got going on. Um, we bought these bus bars on Amazon. And if you can look, uh, that's not that thick. And I think that's um, nickel plated copper. I'm not for sure though. But I can tell you under even 120 amp load, these bus bars are where my heat is coming from. I know that because I connect, or I can feel down here on these main connections, and these are usually cold, just a tick warm, where these here are too hot to touch. And it's the entire bus bar, it's just hot. So uh, I've gotta make something better. That's just not gonna work. And as you might imagine, um, we've got a lot of Victron equipment. There is the uh, Victron Lynx DC distribution system, which looks really nice, not gonna lie. Where'd my dog go? Where'd she go? <laughs> she was right here. Coco! We found her. Where are you? Coco! <laughs> she knows she's in trouble. Uh, leave her alone for two seconds and she's... Uh, over across the street. That girl. I usually try and keep her tied up, but then she whines and mopes and she wants to be right next to me. So I do that and then she wanders off. So most of the time she's tied up, but I thought she was being a good girl. I guess not. There she is. She's gonna lay down here. Yeah, anyway, the Lynx, v Victron Lynx distribution system is really nice good thick bus bars but uh it's kind of expensive and i wanted to explore something different because i do have a lot of stuff um to make this so let me show you what i'm thinking i just started playing around with a couple ideas here i don't even know if this is going to work um if this video gets out uh at least went far enough to where i thought it was worth sharing so uh, we've got three eighths inch aluminum bar, which works really well. Uh, should handle much more load than that much thin bar, even the thinner copper bar. This should work way better. And I've got this little sorter with a cover. Okay, I think I got this at Harbor Freight or Menards. I don't remember which. And what I'm thinking about here is This is a perfect cover to protect the connections, which as you saw currently, I don't have the covers on because they're pain in the butt. Every time I got to connect something, I got to take a measurement, whatever. And they just haven't gotten back on it. They've gotten lost, whatever. This is easy. You just snap it, unsnap it, pops right up, right? So I'm thinking if I could run a bar through here, one on this side, one on this side, that might provide both separation for positive and negative and a nice built-in cover in a nice little package. And I think this costs about four or five dollars at the most, maybe less. And the trick is gonna be putting this and mounting this inside it. I'd have to get a hole through here somewhere I think that's my biggest question so far. First, we need to see, is this even worth doing? Now, these are my two watt lugs. I could put three of those on each side. So I'm thinking this could be negative to one side and this side would be positive. And the bar wouldn't extend into it. It would just, it would span just this and then this would span here. And you, know, you could paint one side red, one side black. 
uh, so that works. And then I would thread, I would uh, drill and tap holes in here and then drill in a, or screw in a bolt from the back side. And that would provide the studs to mount these two up there. So that works that way. And then uh, that other one could be for other things or maybe even add a, um, I don't know, something different. It could also connect from up here too. You know, so I could have one this way, and the other one that way potentially. Because you're gonna get a better connection that way than having two. I think less connections is better. But anyway, I'd have to drill a hole up here to make that work. I've heard it said that some people are engineers, other people are gardeners. Uh, an engineer has a plan. They got it all laid out and it's gonna go the way they planned it, engineered it. Uh, I'm a gardener. <laughs> I have an idea. I start with it, I see where it goes. Uh, so if uh, you like gardening <laughs> in uh, technology and do-it-yourself stuff, uh, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and uh, give a thumbs up, maybe comment on what I'm doing, all that sort of stuff. So anyway, let's get back to it. Well, it's been a couple of hours. Been doing a couple other things and been putzing around at this. Uh, and uh, the more and more I work on it, the more I'm wondering if this is actually worth it at all. <laughs> it's taken a lot of time. Here is one bus bar and kind of what I come up with. Um, I have uh, tapped and threaded these. And then check this out. There it goes. Not too bad. And then these would also go like that. And then this goes in between there. I'd punch them in there first. And I got, I got to still drill and tap this one. Or no, I've already drilled it. I just have to tap it now. All right, I've been hard at work at this. Uh, this. And then as far as attaching this to the wall, because it's going to be on a wall like this, uh, I'd do some screws with a washer through here. Probably one in each of these. And I think that would hold it pretty well. This is, I don't know, I feel like it's some pretty, this is the plastic. It's, you know, it's not great, but in all reality, it's not a lot thicker than that other stuff that's in there. I don't know, maybe this is a bad idea altogether. Some of you on YouTube have already seen a little teaser video on this. And uh, yeah, I'm not even sure, you know, it's like I said, I was looking for comments and ideas. This is even a good idea. Is this even worth doing? I don't know. I'm going to give it a try. At the very least, I'm going to keep going with this and see where it leads. Hopefully it doesn't end horribly. I'm going to keep working at this. All right. I've been hard at work at this. Uh, and this is where I'm at so far. I don't know. <laughs> this is kind of something I'm like, I'm far enough in. I got to at least complete it, but... Um, I don't know, I removed some material here so that any lugs in there can pop out. And I'd probably have to drill some holes here. I know for, uh, yeah, I think my positive and my negative, I'm going to need at least one lead coming in here. Uh, that's kind of, I broke it here when I was trying to figure out how to cut these out. This plastic was a little brittle, so what I found that worked the best was my angle grinder here. Uh, X-Acto knife was, was not getting the job done. Now it looks a little janky, but here's a, I don't know, I just put just a scrap piece of wire in here, put it on a lug and just kind of see how it would feel. I like it. I like it in general. I really like this concept. I'm still kind of stuck on how do I secure this in here. Six and a half hours later. So uh, it's been a while, and uh, so what I'm working on here with the uh, with this bus bar situation, I've uh, actually changed it up quite a bit. Uh, painted it blue, added some uh, some 
some electrical tape here to denote positive and negative. Um, got some holes there cut for some wire to come out. I also have two holes cut in the back so I can have wire come in either side because I'm going to have some connections I know I'm going to want to make up here. I don't want to route them all the way around. Uh, I thought I would leave... I only hooked up one half of it. I figured I'd show you the other half. So this is uh, what the actual bus bar itself looks like. It's just some, uh, I think it's 5 sixteenths bolts as studs uh, into drilled and tapped 3 8 aluminum. And then that would go and sit right in there. And what's holding it up is... So this... Got a little piece of uh, CPVC that I cut to a little more than an inch, about an inch and an eighth. So that goes there, and then that threads into here. So it ends up being like that, and that is the standoff, and then it screws all the way, all the way up. So you can see kind of how I have it here. And then it's mounted into the back here, and what I ended up doing on the back side to strengthen that up is this is a piece of white um, HDPE plastic that I cut to fit. And then I screwed this box to um, the HDPE through the top of it. And then the bolts are what hold the bus bar down. And this is extremely solid uh, and then how I'm going to attach to a wall is I got a couple of screw holes up here and then there's uh, paint over the little screw holes down there as well so that should help I don't know if, if for some reason that would be conductive I don't see how it ever could be uh, so then the other problem would be well what about these screw holes there well I have this that's going to go on top of there, and that will make that flush. And then it can go and mount up into a wall. So I'm going to uh, put this other one in, and then uh, maybe in a little bit, I will actually uh, put this into the bus and clean up some of the wiring in there, do a couple other things. Okay, last little update here. This is what uh, it might look like with, uh, you know, wires coming out of it, and then uh, this cover just comes right up. You can get in there, attach more things, whatever, close it right back up. I think I might be onto something here. 12 seconds later. All right, this is what I'm starting with. Let's see if we can clean this up a little bit. We've got the... Uh, bus bar system that I made we're gonna try that hopefully it can replace both the uh, positive and negative I'm gonna have to leave the uh, 12 volt rail there or move it a little bit or something but I'm looking forward to this long time coming okay we're moving along here and already we are getting some nice improvements uh, I really like the way this is coming together uh, one thing I did not plan all that well for was how to handle some of these smaller connections. I was planning on, I got an extra ring here or there. Um, I can't really combine too many. Well, what I, I could combine these two together, I guess. I hadn't thought about it. Right. Uh, maybe that's what I'll do. But uh, overall, wow, I really like the way it looks. And hey, I picked a good color blue, didn't I? All right, uh, not quite done, but uh, really coming along here. Um, I couldn't, I was planning on trying to have a bus bar go directly from here to here, but that ended up not being able to work out. So I did the thing I've been doing all, all over here is take a piece of 3 8 aluminum bar stock, drill the hole through there, and then uh, I did two tapped holes in there. The reason why I do that is the end on these lugs that I'm using is too small 
for the bolt that is in the uh, Victron BMV there. And I don't want to drill out that, uh, I don't want to drill that out because then it will re reduce the contact area and then create heat, which I'm trying to get rid of. But doesn't that look a lot better? Now I do need to add some more fusing. We're gonna get to that. Oh, I screwed up there. Don't. Okay, that's a little bit better. I got the cover down on there. Um, but I think that looks pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. Um, like I said, I do need to add some more fusing in here. Um, or not fusing. Uh, I like breakers more than fuses. Um, I think I'm going to button a couple of things up in here. We'll check back in uh, when I'm done with that. Clean all this up. All right. One eternity later. Well, here it is uh, a couple of weeks later, and I never recorded a closing on that video. So uh, let's close this bugger out, huh? Uh, big picture, bus bars have been in service now for two, three weeks, working great, no problems, no heat. Um, really like how that's working out. Um, could things be better? Sure. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if, you, if you have any questions on this, um, you know, I don't know liability wise. I don't know if I'd recommend it, but I think there's some good ideas here that you could use in maybe your own builds. Um, obviously a Victron Lynx distribution system is probably the best in breed, of course. Uh, but I feel like this is a good compromise for I don't know, I probably got about $20 into this uh, for a really nice bus bar system that looks pretty nice to, uh, too. So, I don't know. Uh, if you got any questions, leave them down below. Uh, other than that, uh, from all of us here, see you down the road. See you next time. Bye.